What's up, people? This is Sean Shadonis of Sports Genius, formerly known as Sean Don. Welcome to another episode of Diary River Mad Sports Fan coming to you Friday, April 10th, 2020. Uh, before I get into what grinds my gears in the world of sports today, I want to let you know this episode is sponsored by none other than the World Series of Dice. I don't have my dice with me because I moved a few months ago. And for some reason, they must be in a tote somewhere or packed away and I can't find this shit. So I'm going to have to go buy and another pair or find those or whatever but i wanted to mention that because i know people have been stealing my fucking ideas lately and i wanted to say it right here and i don't care if you're trying to steal it i already got the web domain um under my control so if you try and steal that you're gonna have to go through me because the problem is everybody is worried about kids and old people and women and shit and white people and what they gonna do during this time but I'm trying to set up a World Series of Dice, something virtual dice game, because I'm worried about the moles and the folks and people like that. You got to worry about those people, too, because those are the dickheads that's outside when they're not supposed to be outside trying to pitch pennies and shit like that. Those are the motherfuckers y'all should be worried about trying to find something to do in the crib. So that said, I'm going to let you know what bothers me in the world of sports today. I'm going to try and keep this shit short because it was 13 minutes long yesterday. I had to let off into Lori Lightfoot because she needs a light foot in her ass. Uh, got me out here looking like fucking Denzel Washington or, or Malcolm X when he got back from the fucking Mecca and shit. People cracking jokes and shit's not funny. So anyhow, I'm going to let you know what bothers me today. And it's the Chicago Bulls. They've gone out and hired some asshole from the Denver Nuggets named Arturis, whatever the fuck his last name is. I'm, I'm sure the Chicago media is going to call him like eight different things because they love trying to just change people's name and shit like it really matters when at the end of the day, dude is a fucking loser. And you know why he's a fucking loser? I don't care what he did for Denver. He is a fucking loser because he is associated with John Paxson, period. John Paxson is the second biggest loser in the city of Chicago since I've been watching sports. The first biggest loser is Dave Wanstead, and John Paxson is the second biggest. This motherfucker stuck around here for 17 years, and he has the, exactly one more Eastern Conference championship appearance than I do. And I don't even run a fucking team. That's how fucking much of a loser he is, and the dude Arturis, or whatever the fuck his name is, he's tied to Paxson. Do you know why he's tied to Paxson? Because John Paxson took part in the interview process to hire him. Now, people are like, man, there's new blood here, man. Denver's got a good team. First of all, what the fuck is Denver want? Like, Jokic is good, and Jamal Murray is pretty decent and shit like that, but y'all like, like they got Kiki Vandeway and shit over there. So, like, these niggas ain't in, they got swept out of the Western Conference Finals last I checked. Shit, Paxson did that. But my biggest problem is, how the fuck are you telling me that John Paxson is out? You, oh man, Gar Paxson's out. But you take part of the interview process of your replacement? Now that tells me one of two things. Either A, you're taking part of the, of the hiring process because you're really going to be running things from up above and dude is going to be a fucking puppet. Or B, if I was taking part in the process of hiring my replacement, and I was actually literally leaving the organization, I would hire the stupidest motherfucker ever. So well, how the fuck can we trust John Paxson either way? I don't want nothing to do with John Paxson. The worst fucking thing that ever happened to us is John Paxson hitting that three-pointer in Phoenix 27 years ago in 1993 to win a championship. It's the worst fucking thing because now we're stuck with him for the rest of his miserable, bald-headed, cock-sucking life. And all he ever does is goes out and signs white boys that look like him, that can't play no fucking defense, Kirk Hyde can't shoot free throws. How the fuck are you going to be white you can't shoot free throws? This shit, I, I'm, I'm still incredulous to that, but I'm like, whatever. This dude, just he, he's just, just terrible. Nobody signs him as a free agent. I'm telling you right now, I absolutely hate John Paxson. And yes, I use the word hate. That is a strong word. I use the word hate because I can't think of nothing worse to say. Other than just standing here and say shit, bitch, fuck, and just start cussing and, and looking up the dictionary and figuring out how many curse words I can say. That's how much I hate that dude. I hate him just the tick below hating Dave Wanstead. And I'm going to tell you, I hate him this much. John Paxson, I hate him so much 
that if this motherfucker was the one that came out and said, we shouldn't be touching people, we should be social distancing, and that's what's going to save our lives, I would do the exact opposite. You would see me walking down the street doing the folks handshake with everybody or shaking up doing the strong handshake with everybody, hugging everybody. They would have to put handcuffs on me like Cuba Gooden Jr. That's how much I don't believe in nothing John Paxson fucking say. Nothing. I don't want to know nothing this nigga say. I don't believe nothing he got to say. That dude is a fucking loser. If you want me to do the opposite of what the fuck you say do, tell me to do something and then say John Paxson gave you that advice. And I promise you, I'm going to do the opposite. I usually don't tell people how I think, but that's what's going to happen. Him and Dave Weinstein. I hate Dave Weinstein. And Chicago blows me because they give these people jobs and be like, man, Weinstein is on TV. I got the, the David Cavs stupid motherfuckers like, shut the fuck up. Your guy, not our guy. Your guy, you white motherfucker. Get your ass out of there. I don't want to hear nothing. You got, like, why would I want to hear anything about Dave Monson? What, what can Dave Monson tell me about winning in Chicago? He's like, ah, you know, his mustache all crooked and shit. Eric Kramer, you know. And the worst part about it is his mustache was crooked and he wasn't even quarantined. But maybe that's why I was crooked because he tried to cut it himself. I don't know what the fuck. But anyway, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We, we was going to win with Eric Kramer. Like, how the fuck was Eric Kramer so cold? Eric Kramer tried to commit suicide a few years ago and missed. That's how weak he is. If you don't believe me, look it up. Eric Kramer tried to shoot himself a few years ago, and he has brain damage right now because the nigga missed. That sums up what the Bears and the Bulls be on when it comes to drafting players and shit. And how good they really are. This motherfucker tried to commit suicide and miss. I don't want to hear nothing. Neither one of them motherfuckers got to say. There you have it. Another episode of the Diary of Man Sports, man. I told you I was going to try and keep it shorter. I'm trying to keep it between five to nine minutes. If you like the comment, if you didn't, go fuck your mother. Peace and hair grease.